Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and I want to discuss uh, web-based RSS aggregators. Now, your typical RSS aggregator tends to run on the desktop application, meaning that that particular RSS aggregator, in the case of Endo for the Mac, would run on my Macintosh and I'd have to be connected to the internet in order to get new stories to cache them locally and then read them when I get free time. That's that's usually how RSS aggregation went. That's how it, that's how it actually started, to tell you the truth. Then a company came around by the name of Bloglines, bloglines.com, that I remember being one of the first big, huge, web-based RSS aggregators. Uh, that was the one that I got into first, and uh, I actually got really, really into RSS reading because of Bloglines. It was simple to use. It had a two-pane interface. It had my articles on the left, and it had my story content on the right. Very basic. And uh, I, I, I really, really liked it. Then a company came around called Feed Lounge. I'm not sure if they're still around, but uh, I think some things were going wrong with the company. Some people left, and uh, that caused me to uh, <laughs> to rethink my situation with them. And I went back to blog lines. Uh, Google Reader is another big web-based aggregation RSS aggregator. It came out initially, and uh, it was met with a lot of criticism because it didn't do a lot of things that a basic RSS aggregator, aggregator should do. Um, the interface wasn't complete. Uh, it, it was a little bit clumsy, and uh, it caused Google Reader to, you know, they took a lot of feedback from the users, and they, you know, they came back and they came out with an update. And this update actually proved to be very well done. But, you know, a search company like Google failed to put search in Google Reader, so. Up until recently, they added search to Google Reader, and it has become a really, really useful RSS aggregator for the web. Now, web-based RSS aggregators are very useful in the fact that they can be portable to multiple machines, so you don't have to have any software installed. All you really need is a web browser, your login and password, and you have all of your RSS aggregation. Now, one of the trends that are starting to happen, starting to happen, and it actually is starting to happen with Google Reader, in the form of Google Gears, in that you can sync your web-based RSS information to a local machine. Uh, a web, a web-based RSS aggregator uh, called, I believe it's called Feed Demon. Uh, and there's a ton of others. I'm not gonna, I don't want to leave any out, but they actually interface or um, they synchronize with Microsoft Outlook. So you can have your feeds in Microsoft Outlook and read them and what it does is that it takes that state of what you're reading and it synchronizes it to the web-based version as well. So when you go to the web-based version, if you move to another machine, you'll pick up where you left off. Now there's, a, there's a, another format called attention.xml which Endo supports which I can't find a whole lot of support for in terms of web-based aggregators, but um, I believe there's one, and I can't remember the name of it. I tried it and it didn't work for me the way I wanted it to, but that is the way that things are going. Currently, my favorite one is Google Reader. Google Reader does a lot of things right. They have essentially an instant link blog where you can mark stories as your favorite or star them and it'll automatically create a web page with all of the stories you've marked as your favorite or all the ones you uh, you want to share with people and it creates a nice page with its own feed and everything. Um, the search is just so valuable. I mean one of the uses I use it for is that I take the Twitter feed, the whole entire Twitter feed, public feed, and I subscribe to it in Google Reader. And if I need to search Twitter for something, I just search in Google Reader. It's so much faster. It, it indexes it properly, and uh, it's just it's just great. And also, if I just need to search on a certain topic, if I want to find that old article I read once, the Google Reader search just works very well. Bloglines is a close second. I, I, Bloglines is my my um, my first RSS web-based RSS reader, and uh, it, it, it's it's a close second. And and third, I say Endo. Endo. Is, a, is an application, but it supports attention attention.xml, which I can sync my state to a web-based platform. Now, 
I gotta find somebody who supports it. Once I find someone who supports Attention.xml the way I need it, then Endo will probably jump up there with Google Reader. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and uh, that's web-based RSS aggregation and my current favorites. Enjoy.